Welcome to Cooking with Granny and Mama Soul Kitchen. Today, everybody, we have our apple turnovers. Okay, it's very simple, easy recipe. We're going to have you guys screenshot it right now. This is the apple goody goody right here in the pot, all ready to go. And I must say this: we have the pastry puff dough everybody yes if you guys don't know anything about puff pastries this was uh, actually at walmart and it works really well it cuts a lot of corners and headaches and hassles so we use this for a lot of our pastry so we went on and laid it onto a nice sprayed baked pan sheet right here now we're going to add our apple goody 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 everybody right here into the centers of the dough and what we're going to do is we're going to put another layer on top of this after we're done. So you want to space it out as seen here. Okay, everybody? Now, this is so flavorful. The nutmeg and the cinnamon and the butter. Oh, yes, this is what we're talking about. Now, you don't want too much juice on this pastry sheets everybody because we're going to have it naturally have its own juice as well as baking. Now, we're going to cover the pastry layer top right here and as you see right here we're just gonna lay it on top tuck it in nice and comfy like these in the blanket so anyway we're gonna go ahead and make sure all the edges are nicely sealed but we're gonna go back over it again now as you see you see the lumps there we see one two three four five six seven eight nine everybody so we have nine lumps then we're gonna go ahead and cut right here okay make sure you don't cut into the apples everybody we want to cut on the dough part only to make them into squares now this is the other part that we're going to do we're going to go ahead and do this now a little bit of extras on the edge so we're going to go ahead and cut it okay we're going to cut that piece off and take it off and put it to the side we're still going to use this okay this is some goody goody everybody it's still goody goody don't you throw that away uh-uh we don't throw nothing away here in mama soul kitchen now as you see right here, we're going to go ahead and layer these perfectly as a nice, per nice perfectly cut squares. Now we're going to move it over a little bit. Now we kind of, you got to kind of work with this kind of quickly because the dough starts getting room temperature and it starts getting really soft. So in the pan, you're able to move it around as long as you spray your pan first, okay? Especially non-stick. Now look, now these were the extra goody goody extra doughs that we had left over. That's why they're kind of unbalanced and bigger, but who cares? We're going to have it bigger because those are mine. <laughs> Grandmother, I heard you. <laughs> you coming in here listening to me? <laughs> yes, I heard you. <laughs> so anyway, so we went on and baked the pastry on 350 degrees for a good 25 minutes. So you want to make sure it doesn't burn everybody, okay? Now, you do check it after 20 minutes. Just make sure, just check on it, okay? You don't let all your heat out. Just make sure. You really want it to lightly brown toast nicely. If not, that's fine because this dough is cooked thoroughly now we have our goody goody topping we added in some powdered sugar everybody to add to our juices that's in our pot okay so we went on and poured some already on the sides right here but we're going to go ahead and layer these on top everybody this is the goody 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 topping everybody this is the apple butter cinnamon nutmeg mixture okay you can't go wrong now you can make other flavors and when you make other flavors that's why you put your different cuts of your fruit on top so you'll know oh this is apple oh this is peach oh this is lemon whatever it may be we make all of those we also have our peach pie apple pie speech pie turnovers everybody on our youtube channel as well peach turnovers oh they were so delicious we made those a while ago but this is wonderful it's not too sweet it's just perfect and this is wonderful that for the children they're not getting all of that extra sweetness that's in the boxes everybody this is all natural and it's better homemade trust me the buttery flaky oh it just makes you want to melt in your mouth i know one thing is simply delicious i'm telling you this is how we do it up in here okay so when it actually you know nicely cools off and that's when you're able to handle it and go ahead and give it out you guys can add some ice cream to this okay if you want to add it or some whipped cream hey yeah yeah whipped cream oh yeah you know romantic evenings you know after midnight grandmother okay 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 i'm just keeping it real just keeping it real just saying okay my grandmother anyway oh my goodness all right that that's on the midnight love jones special <laughs> But anyway, this is how we do. We went on and laid all this goody goody on top. And you know, till it's all well, all the way gone. You just want to have the flavors of the succulent cinnamon and the nutmeg. Follow us for a lot more on our YouTube channel.